Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, we are checking out the community of Montrose by Toe Brothers. Montrose is located in the master plan community of Sky Canyon in the northwest area of Las Vegas, Nevada. The Sky Canyon community consists of approximately 1,700 acres and is planned for 6,500 residential homes. The gated community of Montrose features a total of 111 home sites with a collection of one-story single-family homes with three different floor plans. These floor plans will range from 2,000 square feet up to 2,400 square feet. Montrose will be located in the same community as a two-story collection called Vista Rosa, which will have 135 home sites. The HOA is $65 per month and the Skymaster HOA of $84 per month for a total of $149 per month. The SIDs are approximately $9,621 and are paid $362 semi-annually. Currently, home site premiums range from $15,000 up to $75,000 depending on the size of the lot, location, and the views. The build times vary from 13 to 14 months and lot sizes will range between 5,100 square feet up to 10,500 square feet with the average lot size being 5,800 square feet. Homeowners in Sky Canyon have access to Sky Center, which is an 8,000 square feet rustic contemporary community center that includes a pool, splash pad, park, basketball court, fitness center, a coffee bistro, and a sports field. Nearby amenities include the Sky Center, Floorland Park, Sky Canyon Marketplace, Big Sky Park, Starlight Park, and Mount Charleston. Today, we are checking out the Calavo floor plan, which features 2,164 square feet, three to four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a three car garage. This floor plan allows you to optimize for a den, office, or fourth bedroom. All of the homes in Montrose will feature this built-in parcel delivery locker for your packages. There are three elevations to choose from, the Spanish Contemporary, the Modern Craftsman, and the Modern Farmhouse. A quick sit handle sit with an electronic deadbolt is included at your entry door. As we enter into the foyer, we are greeted with dramatic 10-foot ceilings and 8-foot interior doors. These are included features at the Montrose Collection. Tow Brothers tends to use a lot of these wooden beams in their model homes. However, they do not offer these options at the design studio. Bedroom 3 will be located adjacent to the foyer. This bedroom measures 11 by 10 and overlooks the front of your home. Here we have bathroom number three. The included countertops that come with your home are Petrofina marble countertops. A bathtub and shower combination with a fiberglass surround is a standard feature. For $1,800 more, you can upgrade to a tile surround as shown here. For $3,300 more, you can install a shower stall with a fiberglass floor or tile floor. And for $6,000, you can install a zero threshold shower. The standard layout for this floor plan would be the dining room here with no walls. It would be completely open and would measure 16 by 15. There are three options to choose from. The options that you see here is called the home office. It measures 14 and a half by 11. This option will cost you $2,700. The second option would be to convert the dining room to a den. The den option will be very similar to the home office except that it'll feature double doors. It'll be the same size at 14 and a half by 11. This option will cost you $3,200. And the third option will be to convert the dining room to a bedroom. The bedroom will measure 12 by 11 and this will be a $3,800 upgrade. If you opt for the dining room, den, or home office option, you will have an option to install a 9-foot multi-slide stacked door in lieu of the windows for $10,000.
The great room measures 20 and a half by 17. It also has a very nice and open concept as it flows into the kitchen and the dining room. I personally really like these feature walls that they put in the great room. This feature wall seems to be made with quartz. In the great room, there's an option to install a 48 inch Primo fireplace. This option will cost you $15,500. The fire feature is currently off, but I'm gonna play with the lights here anyways. The included feature in this floor plan would be three windows here. You do have an option to install a 9-foot multi-slide stack door for $10,000 in lieu of the windows. In the kitchen, there is an option to convert the island to an alternate kitchen island design. This option will cost you $900 and will enlarge the size of your island. An included feature in the kitchen would be a granite countertops. There is an option to install upper stacked cabinets. This option will cost you around $6,800. If you like a bottle of water, please hit that subscribe button and like button. I'll trade you. Here we have the kitchen pantry and this is the standard shelving. The standard appliances in this kitchen will be Whirlpool appliances. This includes a built-in microwave and oven, a 36-inch cooktop, a dishwasher, and a hood. The appliances in this model home are all KitchenAid. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of KitchenAid. The standard kitchen fixture would be a Kohler faucet. A stainless steel double basin undermount sink is included. One thing I certainly appreciate is the KitchenAid dishwasher. I love that upper rack. Here we have the contrasting cabinets. Interesting choice of color for the kitchen island cabinet. Here we have the casual dining room which measures 14 and a half by 14. On the wall, there's an option to install a wet bar. The wet bar would include a countertop, a stainless steel sink, a chrome faucet, and a sub-zero 24 inch wine fridge. The primary suite measures 16 by 14. This chandelier is very intriguing. I will call this a donut chandelier because of the shape. In the primary suite, you will have two windows here. There is an option to install a 9-foot multi-slide stack door. This option will cost you $10,000. Originally, there would not be a door to your primary bathroom, but you can opt to have one for $1,200.
the layout that you see here in the primary bathroom is standard. The standard countertops in the primary bathroom would be Petrofina marble countertops. I kind of like what they did with this decorative light fixture and the stone like backsplash to the ceiling. It matches the frame of the vanities as well. Here we have the standard shower for the primary bathroom. There is an option to convert to the luxurious primary bath. This would rearrange your primary bathroom layout. It will split your vanities and it will include a sunstruck freestanding tub between them. This option will cost you $8,000. Here we have the walk-in closet with custom shelving. Gotta love these multi-stack doors. The covered patio measures 14 by 10 and will come with pavers. Your backyard will come unfinished. With the average lot size being 5,800 square feet in Mont Rose, these should be enough for pool size lots. A pergola is a good thing to have to cover your outdoor barbecue. Very interesting water feature for this pool. Here we have the coat hanger closet. This nook here, you have an option to install the drop zone, which is a $1,700 option. It will include lower base cabinets with a wood top. In the laundry room, the washer and dryer are not included. In the laundry room, you have an option to install a top mount sink with cabinet that will cost you $2,300 or an under mount sink with cabinet that will cost you $2,800. This door here will lead to your 3 bay garage which measures 27 by 22. In the garage, a Renai tankless water heater is included. Here we have bedroom 2 which measures 11 by 11. It will also feature its own ensuite bathroom, bathroom number 2. The shower that you see here is a $3,200 upgrade. You can also upgrade to a zero threshold shower for $6,000. If you would like, you can add medicine cabinets to all your bathrooms. Each medicine cabinet will cost you $340. This concludes our home tour of the Clavel floor plan at Mont Rose in Sky Canyon. If you have any questions regarding this community or any other new home community, please do not hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. You can also drop a comment below. Again, thank you so much guys for watching to the very end and I'll see you in the next video.